Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Personal reading information, social media, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. And thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is uh, very much appreciated. So thank you for supporting the channel and being a part of its growth and uh, helping me get the messages out to the people who need to hear them. So I wanna thank you for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It really does mean a lot to me. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you and your love connection for November. Now this can be um, any type of connection that you have in mind right now. It can be about uh, somebody you're dating, it can be about an ex, it can be about uh, somebody maybe you're in separation with or somebody you kind of like, you think maybe they like you too, anything like that. It has to be actual connection, not something where you like somebody and they have no clue who you are. This um, is not a reading for that. You have to have some sort of, even if you're just friends with somebody, but you kind of like them, think they may kind of like you, uh, whatever your situation here. And we'll see what we get if you clicked on the title probably something in here for you so okay so I hope everybody's doing well happy November already happy fall all right Sagittarius zodiac oracle sign element or planet if you don't resonate with what comes out here totally fine it's sort of like a little extra bonus so what could some Sagittarians be dealing with for the month of November spirit please thank you so much can I have one card for Sagittarius please one card Sagittarius well two well no not taking two not taking two let's see which one which one this one and Capricorn oh that is so weird let's see what this one was earth <laughs> so yeah it doesn't matter so Capricorn and I just just did Capricorn's reading and Sagittarius came out so if you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Capricorn uh, person then you may want to go watch the Capricorn reading so that may be significant here if you're not dealing with the Capricorn that's totally fine or maybe they could have Capricorn uh, somewhere in their chart if you know their chart at all okay so Sagittarius let's see what's going on first thing I'll do is get an overall love connection energy between you and your person Whoever you have in mind at this time, whoever you're thinking about at this time, will get an overall love connection energy. Well, I guess that's your card. Rest and rejuvenation. So maybe you're on a break with this person. And it's exactly what I got for the reading I just did for Capricorn. <laughs> wow. So somebody may be on a break here uh resting rejuvenating thinking things through thinking contemplating healing uh doing some soul work journey work all right so let's see rest and rejuvenation well i wanted to and here's two so i guess we'll do that way so what i'll do sagittarius is if you're not familiar on how i do this I got a card here, one for you, how you're feeling about your person and the connection, and then one for them, how they're feeling about you and the connection. I'm going to put you on this side, your person on this side, but if at any time you feel like the roles are reversed, you flip, flop, switch the energies anytime throughout this reading, that's how tarot works, and you only take what resonates, you throw away what doesn't, and it's not for everybody, so keep that in mind, and it's not a personal reading, it's just a general collective reading, so that being said... Let's see, Sagittarius, this is, will be you. Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. So that is your third eye there uh, in your forehead. So that is about uh, listening to your gut, your intuition, um, your thoughts, listening to that inkling, that gut feeling, really paying attention to things, signs, symbols, energy around you, like really paying attention to everything and being really connected with uh, source there. And you see 40 there, which is four, which is about uh, stability, basis, foundation. So I feel like you're very intuitive, you could be. Um, I think you like intuitively already know that 
this could be a very um, strong foundation between the two of you. But let's see what your person has. Indecision. Wow. Yeah. So they're not sure what to do here. Eight. Eight is um, about action, communication, travel sort of energy. But they're at a crossroads and they just don't know what to do. And I got that in the Capricorn reading where Capricorn's person, person who was a Sagittarius was at a crossroads and they didn't know what to do. So if you feel like the roles are reversed here, then totally do that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Angel of Balance. So that's your energy, Sagittarius. Angel of Balance here. Eight and four, which is 12, which is three, which is about working together, teamwork, collaboration, energy. Um, yeah, being, I, I feel like you're a very balanced person. Very um, just balanced. Very like peaceful and balanced and just calm kind of energy. And you like have intuition and you're very uh, grounded also is what I'm getting. But they're indecisive here and they're not sure what to do. <sighs> so they could be, you know, in that rest rejuvenation state trying to figure out one and nine is ten, which is about endings. And then ten is one is a new beginning. So they're trying to decide, do I end this or do I have this new beginning with my person? You, them, however it resonates, but let's see. Let's see what's going on. I just noticed 10, 10. So, all right. And we got your Sag is, you are nine and Cap is 10. So we got nine, 10, eight, nine, 10. <laughs> all right, so let's clarify you, the sixth chakra. The seven of Wands. So this is being your energy, uh, Leo Sagittarius, defensive on guard, uh, wanting to fight for this. And I got this in the uh, other reading I did for Capricorn. <laughs> you want to fight for this person. You want to stand up for this. You want to defend this relationship, this connection. This is like fighting and not giving up, like standing your ground. All right, so let's see. Wise indecision here for your person. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, so they're undecided. Do I offer my cup? Do I make that gesture forward? You know, do I accept their cup? Do I offer my cup? They're very indecisive about offering, um, offering love to you or accepting your offer of love. They're contemplating. Contemplating and they don't know what to do. All right, so let's clarify the Seven of Wands. Why is that here for, let's, oh, we'll do this, we'll do that, okay. So we have the Six of Swords. So Ear Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it doesn't have to be, but this is leaving everything behind that is no longer serving you. All the lessons you've learned, you've got them in your little boat there. You've left, left, you've left the rest behind and you're ready to sail forward in a more peaceful, harmonious, healing place. So I feel like you just want to move forward. This is moving forward in a, to a better place. So I feel like you just want to move forward to a better place with this person and you want to fight for that. You know, like it's like you know this is my person, but they're confused and indecisive about this love yeah, well, there's the clarifier to <laughs> This is like, wow, spirit, wow. This is like the same energy, same exact energy, indecisive. Can't make a decision, just can't do it. I can't make a decision. I don't know what to do. I'm at a crossroads. I'm indecisive and I'm blind and I don't want to make this decision. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of blocking this. They're kind of like blocking this uh, love or this love offer. Because they just don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. But I feel like there is love there because the paid, the Knight of Cups did come under their energy. So I feel like there is some sort of feelings there. But for some reason, they are kind of blocked off to it and indecisive. So let's see if we can get the actual situation. Well, there's your energy temperance. So you're flying out all up in this energy. Here, here. 
All right, so that's your energy there, definitely, of wanting, you know, with the rainbow there, peace, harmony, balance, healing energy, patience, having patience with them. You know, mixing the cups there, <laughs> trying to mix the energies together. All right, so why are they so indecisive about this love here for the actual situation? The high priestess. So, wow, okay, I'm getting like the same messages in the Capricorn reading. And this is totally different decks that I use. So you may, some of you Sagittarians may be dealing with a cap. And if you are, I'd say go cross watch that video. So we got the high priestess here. So Cancer Pisces doesn't have to be somebody who's very uh, intuitive. Um, but this is about, oh, this is the high priest. I'm thinking of the high priestess. So this is Taurus energy. Sorry. So the high priest. So but it is about faith, spirituality, uh, commitment, marriage, you know, morals, justice, um, values, doing things by the book, structure, organizations, and that uh, type of thing. So they're really trying to decide on this. You know, maybe you want to commit to this person and they're just very indecisive about this commitment. So let's see what the, the six of wands. So this is success, victory. This is the offer. You see the wreath there on the wand is the offer. And this is success and victory. So that's connecting the two of you. So I think, I think they'll come out of this because the success is here between the two of you. And connected to them is the commitment, marriage, whatever here, faith, spirituality. And you're being very patient with this person. You're just waiting for them. <laughs> you're waiting, you know. So let's get more clarity on this. Well, there you go. Brand new beginning in love. So there it is. Divinely guided. Emotional fulfillment in every single way. Love, emotions, spirituality, faith overflowing brand new divinely guided beginning in love the ace of cups so there's the brand new beginning it's cancer scorpio pisces so let's see the five of swords yeah so oh. now the five of swords can air energy here so we got air here too libra gemini aquarius so if they're not capricorn i mean well, we don't have any pentacles yet, so we don't have earth energy yet. So if they're not Capricorn, they could be any other sign. But the Five of Swords energy here is kind of this um, ego-driven, getting ahead of it at any cost kind of energy. Um, like you don't care how you do it, you just want to win kind of energy. Hmm. It's coming on their side. Maybe they think that... Maybe they think to you because this almost looks like a trophy even though it's a cup that maybe they're in this energy of they think that you just want to win them over as a trophy for some reason I don't know why I'm getting that message and that's that five of swords energy like they think oh they just want to win me over and get me at all costs you know they really don't care I'm just their trophy I, I don't know where that's coming from so that could be a message for somebody like they're in that mind space it's like they want it. There is love there. They want the commitment, but they don't want to be just a trophy is what I'm getting. I never got that message before with the Ace of Cups, but that's what's coming through. But I think you can bring, you know, you can clear their energy and bring them the peace, harmony, and balance that they need to move forward in a better place to get them out of that mindset. I don't know why they would be thinking that, um, but... I do, do see, you know, forward movement here, forward movement here, two sixes. So let's see your advice with this person, Sagittarius. Justice. Libra. Energy here doesn't have to be. So this is balancing out the scales. This is truth and clarity. So yeah, you definitely need to give them truth and clarity. And you need to balance things out. You are all about balance. We got balance here with temperance. Balance over here. So for some reason, things really do need to be balanced out. And I thought she was holding a cup, but um, with this person, they really need to be clear on how you truly feel, what your intentions are. 
the sun. Yeah, wow. Enlightenment. They need enlightenment. Leo energy here. Doesn't have to be, but they need enlightenment. They need, you know, uh, faith, hope, and optimism. They need enlightenment. They need, this is success and victory again. Happy home and family life. Healing energy. So, yeah, they need enlightenment on how you truly feel with truth and clarity and balancing out the scales to get them out of this negative mindset so they can make a decision on this love offer here with the Knight of Cups. So let's clarify for this brand new beginning in love. So let's clarify here. The lovers, well, there you go. Coming together as one. Gemini doesn't have to be energy here, but coming together as lovers, soulmate union here under the Ace of Cups. So soulmate union there. All right. I mean, justice can also talk of ju things in the justice system, but doesn't have to be. Can just be balancing out the um, energy and having um, clarity, bring justice into the situation in some way, shape, or form by bringing enlightenment to this person. So we got the Nine of Pentacles here, which can talk of a single energy, and that's their energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So they may be somebody who's very stable and grounded on their own. They can stand on their own two feet. They can take care of themselves. They can make their own money. They're very abundant on their own. So they're like, you know, I'm abundant on my own and I could take care of myself. I don't need to be somebody's trophy. So you need to enlighten them to how you truly feel that you are in love with them. You love them. You want this brand new beginning in love with them. Soulmate union here. And it's not just, you know, trophy or whatever situation. And I think they will accept the offer because you've got the high priest there, which is about marriage and commitment. Success, victory, success, victory. Outcome, here's the Knight of Swords. So rushing in. So I think, you know, rushing towards each other, rushing in. Be careful of reckless um, energy here. Rushing in with truth and clarity. So I think you will just rush in to this person and give them the truth and clarity that they need um, on this. So what else do we have for your outcome? The two of wands. So making decisions and plans um, together, moving forward for your future. It's right under the lovers. Very passionate energy too. And now we have the Eight of Cups energy here. So, so yeah, you're. I think you you want to rush into them before they decide just to walk away because they are very independent on their own anyway. They don't really need anyone. So I think you see that with the Two of Wands energy, and you're like, geez, I better make some decisions and plans here and make my move and rush into this person before they just walk away and I lose them for good with the Eight of Cups energy. So I see if you bring in truth, clarity in this situation, that uh, I think they'll accept this love offer. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. So this is reuniting, coming back together. Good times, celebrating. So this is reuniting, coming back together. Page of Cups. Here's a love offer again, rushing in with that communication and that love offer. Six of Cups. Here's a soulmate energy from the past. You could have known this person from your past, childhood, school, something like that. Or if not, then you've probably had past lives with this person. Definitely soulmate energy here. Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, working hard, uh, mastering your craft, like wanting to put in the dedicated effort in this connection and working on it. So now you have the Ace of Wands underneath. So here was the Three of Wands, like waiting for this passionate new beginning. Passionate, exciting, adventurous, uh, new endeavors. Very passionate new beginning. And then the Ace of Swords. Wow. So we got three Aces. We got the Cups. The wands and the swords. Truth, clarity. Here's that big rushing in with that big moment of truth and clarity for this person before you lose them. And this is a sword of success and victory. Enlightenment. Cutting away things not serving. Standing up. Telling it like it is. And also the sword of victory. Passionate new beginning. All divinely guided. 
waited, but now, you know, deciding to put in that effort and hard work, because this is a soulmate from past lives, possibly, offering and extending out that cup of love, that offer, and reuniting, come together and rejoice and celebrating. So good energy there. So your advice is to bring truth and clarity to this person. So for uh, the court cards, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, for the majors, let's see, we have Gemini. Your energy was Sag, Taurus, Libra, Leo. Okay. What do we have under here? We have... Yep, so that was it for them. But it doesn't matter. I mean, they could be any sign. All right, so let's get some messages now from the Lovers Oracle. Just see what we get here between you and your person. All right, what do we have from the Lovers Oracle? This deck is hard to shuffle, so. So this I saw right away, new beginnings. So there you go. New adventure at Waits, and we have the Ace of Wands there. Embrace it and live your life. and Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And there's a peace and harmony and balance with the uh, dove there. So a new beginning for you and your person. And then here we have this card. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And that always uh, reminds me of the Twin Flame card, because that what happens is what happens with Twin Flames, so our soulmates. And then we have this card here, which is emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, so what else do we have? Let's see if there's any other messages for Sagittarius for November. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So you have the freedom to choose, to do what you want here. And trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So, yep. So I see, Sag, if this resonates with you, um, your person needs truth and clarity on the situation. And I feel they will accept your offer. And then I see a brand new beginning together. Love, passion based on truth and clarity. Um, did have some pentacles there, stability, it's all here. But they're confused as, your, as to what your true intentions are and feelings towards them for some reason. So if you haven't been open, honest, and clear about that, then I think it's time to start communicating to them before that you lose this person and they walk away. Okay, Sagittarius, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month now, four different ones. So you'll get a love connection, get a general. You'll get one for singles. If you're singles with, with nobody and you want to know who's coming towards you, it's a fun reading. Who, when, where, how sort of energy. So look out for that. And I've also added a new one, uh, messages from your spirit guides, spirit messages, what you need to know at this time. So if you're interested in all that, please do hit the bell. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So good luck to you here, Sagittarius, wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, with the sun energy here is to always, always shine your light.